Good evening from a very, very busy Baltimore cottage. I'm just cooking my dinner, so uh, this is what I'm doing. I'll talk you through it. Um, first of all, this is a little induction uh, uh, sort of worktop um, little uh, cooker. Okay, it's only just got one, one, um, one hob in it. And uh, as usual, I'm not really sticking to a recipe. It's more of, um, I suppose you'd call it, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna call it a recipe at this point, okay? Because I haven't perfected it. But basically what I'm doing is, um, I'm making a, a vegetable rice for my dinner and it's filled with spices and I started off I put some garlic and red onion into this pan with some olive oil I've got some rather nice olive oil here and uh, not too much olive oil perhaps about a tablespoon and a half something like that so I put in the red onion and the garlic and I put in um, cumin seed which is this and then I just added lots and lots of spices okay so some of the spices that I've added are this lovely one from Marks and Spencer's called roasted curry powder um, chili powder mild um, cumin powder uh, some coriander some garam masala and then some chili and garlic seasoning so not too much on the chilies and uh, then I've really fried that up with with the onions and the garlic and then I've added um, just whatever vegetables I had so look you can see I've uh, added some cauliflower which I'd left over from last night and then this is um, sweet potato and um, I've added some peppers, red and green peppers. Now they were frozen. I've added some fresh tomatoes, which I've just cubed. Um, what else have I added in here? Oh, some carrots. Yeah, some carrots. Had some nice organic carrots. And so I've really fried that up really well for about for about ten minutes, I suppose with all that lovely seasoning. Um, I haven't measured the seasoning because I don't. Unless I'm going to write the recipe down, I don't measure anything. So it's just to taste, you know? So you might like a lot of chilli, put in a lot of chilli. You might not like a lot of chilli, don't put in a lot of chilli. <laughs> it's all to taste. And um, then I've added some of this nice... <clears throat> organic brown basmati rice give that a little rinse and some cold water first and then I added that and I fried it for about 30 seconds with the vegetables and then I added some spring water of course all the water that comes out of my tap is spring water so you can see that's cooking up nicely now I don't want the vegetables too hard so and I have this at 600 so I'm going to just leave that and it's kind of simmering and I'm hoping that by the time the rice is cooked the vegetables will be soft enough for my palate I don't like them too soft, sort of al dente a little bit. So there we go. Just leave that to cook. So that's one of my one pot meals. And again, it's just a question of adding whatever it is you have. Now, I also had some frozen spinach. I like the frozen spinach because it comes in little kind of bundles like this that you could very easily add to soup and to, you know, um, stir fry kind of ricey meals like I'm doing now and the vitamin content in the frozen spinach is not really diminished at all by the fact it's frozen in fact it's probably 
more contained than if you were buying fresh spinach and it was, say, you know on the shelves in the supermarket for two or three days, which quite often it is. So just before uh, the meal is ready, I'm going to add that frozen spinach and give it a good stir around. These are some of my um, spices. Um, I just keep baskets of them. Look, there's lots and lots of everything here. And uh, I've got big, big containers of spices as well. And you can see all the various stuff I have. Um, some of those spices are so old. <laughs> that, you know, but, you know, I don't think that there should be a sell-by date on spices, really. Because I've used spices that's, uh, you know, several years old and they've been fine. They've been fine. So this is going to be a lovely heartwarming meal. And I have a nice big salad made, which I'm going to go um, put with that. And then afterwards, over here in one of these bags, you can see... Um, well, here they are. Yeah, I've got some nice organic apples because I've eaten all my homemade, all my homegrown apples. So these are organic. Um, for those of you in in America, um, uh, you get six organically grown apples here, which are stamped and everything. Now these are from Italy. Uh, they're Brayburns. And they're classified by the EU as organic. And it says here, look, one of five a day, because five vegetables and fruits are recommended each day for you. Um, I think I paid about 2 50 for these. So this is basically 50 cents each. Um, and they are lovely apples. And you wouldn't eat more than one, because they are very tasty. You know, they're, they're very... So I've got half a red onion left. And I've got half a sweet potato left, and so I'll be wrapping those up and putting them in the fridge and using them tomorrow. I might use them in a soup or something like that. So there we go. So I'm just going to leave that now cooking. And I don't have um, a lid on it because I want the water, I want the spicy stock to evaporate, you know, and leave it almost like um, quite a dry risotto type dish. Now there's something I want to share with you. I got a lovely parcel today, a lovely huge big box filled with beautiful stuff here. And this is from um, Melanie Paler. Uh, Melanie lives in Kent in England. Thank you so, so much. I've left everything more or less in the box because I wanted to show you. So I've got this absolutely fabulous card. Look at this. <laughs> That's so, so cool. And it's got a little bell on it. Isn't that lovely? Yuletide. I got some very interesting tea. Pluckly tea. Mmm. Do you know... Oh, look at this. I just... Our world famous flagship tea, a very a strong, bright, refreshing black tea for everyday use. An Assam blend with top quality Kenya teas. For 25 years, the Smith family have been blending and tea bagging this tea, especially for our customers. Our tea factory and tea shop is at Pivington Mill in the village of Pluckley, which by reputation is also the most haunted village in England. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that tea. Now, I got some... Sorry, uh, I've eaten them. <laughs> Beautiful vegan chockies. They were just a little box, so I wasn't being too naughty. Um, I've got prezies here, which I haven't yet unwrapped. I've unwrapped some of them, and I haven't unwrapped the little doggy... Uh, you know, for Jack and Beauty and Sammy Bear, look, they've got separate prezzies because they are going to be here that, um, so my daughter can unwrap them while I'm gone in Canada and share them. Now, I've got some beautiful soap. 
and I have some a lovely little piece of jewellery. Let's just show you. There you go. Look at this. It's a beautiful. In fact, I've just done a wrap it here. Um, I have to be very quick because I don't want my dinner to. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Very Art Deco looking. I love it. And um, I got uh, little tea lights, and I've also got some lovely joysticks. Uh, now, where did I put those? Oh yes, here they are. They're in here. I love all these wrappings. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Look at this. They're lovely. Jack's looking up all expectant. Look at this. Fairies mist. Incense sticks. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's a nice one. Pixies dance. Oh, I love this, Melanie. This is magical. Moon angel. Oh, so lovely. Now, there's a good old fire burning there in the stove. I'm hoping to sit down soon and just relax. I'm definitely going to make a part of that lovely tea. And uh, Jack does have some treats, which I'm going to share with them, because the treats are stacking up. Aren't they, Jack? They're stacking up. He says, yes, of course, Mum. And why shouldn't they be stacking up? I'm a good boy. Are you a good boy, Jack? Are you a good boy? He says, yes I am, look at me, look, look, I'm so good. Are you going to talk? Are you going to talk? Oh yes, you clever boy. He says, I know just what to say. <laughs> so, let's just go back out here now and have a look at this dinner. There's a fine line between it being cooked nicely and it turning to mush. And I don't like mush. Now, do you see how the... Um, how the stock now is evaporating off and, and the rice is absorbing it. I might need to... Got a bit misty there. It's a bit, a bit steamy. I might need to add a little bit more um, water. I'll just let that cook down for a bit more. That's coming together lovely, actually. The secret is, of course, you know, with these meals that I make, is to... Um, Fry the vegetables in a little bit of oil, but with lots and lots of spices. So all the vegetables are coated in those spices. So by the time you add the stock and the rice, you already have a beautiful Indian spicy kind of a sauce going on there. Wow, mm. it smells delish. Delish. I think... Mm. The rice is still a wee bit hard, so what I'll do, I'll add a bit more water. Okay, turn that heat up a little bit. Maybe cook it now at a higher temperature, just to get that done. Mm -hmm. And, just so as you can see, I shall add the spinach. Now that should break up fairly quickly in there. Doing this one-handed. <laughs> you don't get many cookery programs like this on television, where the cook has to hold the camera. There we go. So that'll just uh, defrost in there. Turn that heat up a little bit more. You see that you can turn it right up to 1600. The thing about the induction, um, what would you call it, hob? Little induction hob? A worktop hob? Um, is that it really does cook food fast. It seems to get up to the right temperature very, very quickly. 
and this is handy you know for me um, like say on evenings like this where I lit this stove this morning in order to heat the water and to dry the clothes see all the clothes are hanging above there um, but I didn't want to keep it going late into the evening because I've already lit the stove in the sitting room now I could put this on top of the stove in there but I'm hungry <laughs> I, want, I want to get my dinner so just doing this fairly quickly now this is coming together lovely and you can see those lovely colours coming together as well look at that there we go now really and truly you can use any vegetables you have. Um, I suppose when I said this was a recipe at the beginning, what I meant was it was kind of a, a format, um, a general recipe. You know, you can fill in the blanks yourself. But uh, look at that now, that's looking just fabulous. Oh, I'm salivating. There we go. So, just turn this down a little bit. Now, we'll cook that away at a thousand. There we go. That's it. That'll be ready very soon. And, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Jack's saying, what about me? Okay, Jack, do you know something? Underneath this colander, I happen to have your little tin with some cream crackers in it. I have three. Three cream crackers, darling. Off you go. He takes them out to his bed. Right, that's that. That's a lot. There we go. Cooking away. Not too long to go. So, I'll put this on upload. Thank you so much, Melanie, for the gorgeous, gorgeous Yuletide box of delights. It was wonderful to receive. Blessings to you all and have a lovely evening.